Hi guys, I'm like the absolute worst at trying to make any kind of introduction, which is why we haven't really had that many like intros, I guess, to our vlogs or like a lot of um, recording of like ourselves in it. It's more like showing things because I, I don't really like doing stuff like this. But anyway, um, so today I'm just going to be making dinner and showing you guys hopefully step by step. And I just need to put away a couple dishes here before we get started and then we'll get right into it. So, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so while I put these away, um, something that I like to do before getting started on like a new project, like coming home from work and then having to already start uh, dinner and stuff like that, I don't like starting with like the morning things still undone so um, I'll either try to put the dishes away in the morning before I go to work but sometimes they're still wet like this here I like to let it um, dry out um, but then before starting dinner I'll just put those away because what's the point of having to dry these dishes that were already dry just because I put wet stuff on top of it I could just do it now and then skip that step for all these dishes so that's what I'm gonna do Also, let's not talk about the sink and what's going on there because I don't really know. It's a little bit clogged. All right, so tonight we're gonna be making this uh, creamy chicken tortilla soup, um, a recipe from my, my mom, hands are wet, that's why. Um, a recipe from my mom. And um, well, she explained to me how to make it like a little while ago and I made it and it was great, but I, I'm not sure I remember exactly every single step in order, so we're just going to try to do it, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, I mean, what can really go wrong with this? I, I, I think it's going to be pretty straightforward, but you never know. And so we're going to do that. Mm. Are you going to say hi to everyone? Are you going to say hi? Say hello. I feel like he just needs some attention. All right, so we're gonna start by getting some of our ingredients and um, maybe you guys have seen before, we have like a little pantry over here. So we're able to keep like a good amount of things in there. Um, so let's see, we need beans out of here and diced tomatoes. Oh, and the corn, cause we're gonna do canned corn instead of frozen. So let's look for that. Okay, so here's the corn. Some beans. Look at him. Um, oh, we have those beans there too. I want the black ones also. Hopefully the whole, ah, right there. The whole pantry doesn't like collapse on us right now because that would be, that'd be kind of bad. And what was the other thing I said? diced tomatoes oh so I noticed this when I was putting it away fire roasted and then there's just the regular diced tomatoes because I got this one here I just grabbed it off the shelf I didn't notice that it said fire roasted I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not but I think for this recipe I'm just going to go along with this one here that at least I'm kind of used to and we'll try something new maybe another time all right so I guess we'll just put these over here for now and then we're just going to start with a cup and a half of chopped onion and uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to do maybe like three cloves. So this is where we keep our onions. So I'm going to take one of these and... I guess it's right here. I'm gonna 
leave a bowl right there and just put the scraps and stuff in there. Oh dear, this onion is not in good shape. What is happening here? Do we know? Do we know? Yeah, just because if I throw it in the sink, I'm going to have to take it out later and it's probably just going to clog it drain up even more than it already is and we definitely don't need that so I'm going to try to do this and it should be good. I love onions so much. I don't really know why. I don't know if it's the smell of them or what. So I think I got what I needed to get off of there off. I'm gonna rinse this out though. And also I am no pro at trying to chop things up fast or anything like that because I like doing things slowly. I like enjoying the process. onion off. I just want to see how much this would be. Okay, so that's about a cup. So with this here should be the amount that we need. I'll just put the rest of that in there to hold it for now. And then now we'll do the garlic. I think that's three right there. Okay. And I have my garlic presser, crusher, whatever you want to call it. There's one. gonna leave that right there. This. All right. So now we're gonna grab the pan. So right down here. So since I'm gonna make the soup in here, I'm just gonna do it all straight in there instead of sauteing the onions in one and then throwing it in there. We'll just start off with that. Grab some oil over here. It said a tablespoon. I'm pretty sure that doesn't matter as much. Here, let's turn this on. There we go. So while that's heating up, I am just going to pull out the rest of the ingredients that we're going to be um, kneading for this, so here was some heavy cream, and well, sour cream is gonna top it later, and cheese. So I'm gonna wait for that. I really thought there was something else I needed to put in here. Oh yes, the chicken broth. This here chicken base. So I'm going to use this 
um, it said one, one carton of a 32 ounce size um, for this. So I'm just gonna make that with the space. All right, so now for this, let's see how much. Let's just mix that up a little bit. Oh, this little um, spoon rest or whatever you call it, we got in our honeymoon in Lancaster. Um, it is from Cocalico Creek. Um, store. It's the cutest little place if you ever get a chance to stop by there. 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm going to add this garlic right in. getting this here measure that like that and then okay so I think this here is right so I'm gonna start adding in the water I'm gonna add this in dissolve this in here. Hit the glove! Oh dear, guys, if you're here for aesthetic cooking, you're not gonna get it, so... <laughs> I hope you don't mind watching stuff like this, because this is interesting. Guys, I completely forgot to defrost the chicken, put it in the fridge this morning, before I went to work, because this, you need chicken for this. So I'm gonna work on that now. I'm gonna try to defrost it. Um, and then I am gonna open up all these cans and start kind of, hey, no, no, no. I'm gonna start adding the beans and stuff like that into here. He wants to play with my foot. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's look for the chicken in here now. Which one are we gonna use? solid together so that is a, not a bonus but we will try to make this work oh boy this is literally what i get for forgetting to how am i ever gonna how am i ever gonna defrost this i only need like two pieces and there are four in here All right, not to worry. I found this other block of chicken breast in the freezer, whoops. Um, so I'm just gonna use that and I'll defrost the whole thing. I'll use one piece tonight and save the other two for either maybe tomorrow for dinner. We'll make like chicken parm or something like that. Let's see. doesn't even fit in this pie dish. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. All right, so this is starting to get all bubbly. I'm gonna open up these cans now. Okay, so I'm 
I'm just gonna throw that in. Okay, next these here are gonna have to be opened with the can opener. Do the corn. So the diced tomatoes, I think I'm gonna add in just like that. Don't tell me I got the wrong corn because I wasn't paying attention. Let me see. Oh no guys, this is the cream style. Let me see what it tastes like. I mean, it's gonna make the soup, I think, look kind of weird. Let me see if I have a, another one. So we do not have another kind of corn, so I'm gonna put in half of this and see. I don't know. I have no idea. Now let's open up the black beans. love the colors in here how they're like each in their own little pile but that's not gonna last long okay i don't think the corn looks that bad in there so i'm gonna add in the rest and i won't be doing that mistake again getting cream corn oh boy I'm just going to clean up this station a little bit. I'm already going to measure out this heavy cream right here. So two thirds of a cup. It's sliding out of my hand. And I'll leave that right there. I'm gonna put this away in the chicken base. All right, so now we're just gonna measure out um, some of the spices. So a teaspoon of each chili powder, cumin, and um, paprika. so that the, the spices don't stick to it too much. A teaspoon. For a second I thought I did the chili powder twice. Okay. I wish that recipes would just say how much salt and how much pepper because like salt to taste okay like my taste is different than other people's taste and I guess that that's the point but at the same time like I don't want to like just completely estimate incorrectly like I want to do it right but it just drives me nuts let's see like how much salt should be good I guess we'll start with that Let's check on this chicken. Okay, we're making progress. Yes, we are. 
defrost. Okay. So we got that, that, that. Oh, red pepper flakes. It says to put a little bit in there. Am I going to be able to find that in here? Uh-huh. Literally, <laughs> literally the last one in the back, guys. The last one. I'm just gonna do like a sprinkle because because I don't want it too spicy. All right, so while that chicken is still defrosting, I'm gonna try to make some tortilla wraps, um, tortillas actually, um, and then to make some quesadillas for later to go along with the soup. So um, I have made this recipe before, um, but it's been like a little while. So it's just really flour, sugar, salt, oil, and water. And you're supposed to put it in a food processor and then kind of have that mix it for you, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna try to do it like this and then kind of hand mix it. So let's see what happens. And then one and a quarter teaspoon of salt. One and a quarter. Then one and a third teaspoons of sugar. So I added in the flour, salt, and sugar. And so I'm just gonna mix that. Now we're gonna add in half a cup of oil. Add that in. Three quarters of a cup of water. Half, and then we're gonna just estimate. Okay, I'm gonna whisk this together. And then once it's pretty combined, I believe I just have to roll it into a ball and then cut it into four. and let those dough balls just rise for about five minutes before I can actually cook them. And if you're also here to watch me use the correct equipment to get the job done correctly, this is not the place because I will just use whatever feels like I could use instead of what should be used sometimes. So. If that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. See, I have all these here. I'm pretty sure one of those could be used for this, but no. I have just a spoon out of the drawer. So, take it or leave it. Alright, that looks... It's getting there. Oh, it feels really nice, and I love that it's just really... Look at this. Alright. So let me get this right here. I'm gonna put this on. This one here has a lot more than this one. All 
Could I also just get out my little scale and use that? Yes, I could. Will I pull out the scale to see? No, I will not. That will give me one extra thing to have to wash and pull out and take up counter space. And maybe if I were having guests over or something, I would try, but it's just the two of us tonight here. So we're just gonna estimate. So those look about even. I'm just gonna set those aside, let those rest for a few minutes. We're gonna check on the chicken now. Let's see what is going on in here. Okay, I might be able to break that apart now. So basically when I went to defrost the chicken, I had to defrost obviously all three big pieces together. And so now that they're partially defrosted, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the other two that I'm not gonna like eat tonight. So I don't think I can put them uh, back into the fridge partially like defrosted. I have to try to figure it out now. So I might just start, I might just bread some of them and leave it ready for maybe tomorrow's um, dinner or something like that. But for now, I'm gonna start just frying um, these. All right, so the counter is nice and clean. I actually did one already. Um, I thought I hit record, but it wasn't. So this is the second one that we're doing. I really like the texture, the consistency of this dough. It feels really nice. This is the first one in here. We're gonna have to figure out when to flip that. Sorry guys, I keep hitting the stand. It's starting to bubble over there a little bit. Let me put the camera down and see. So this is how the first one came out. Um, it looks like it's a little bit breakable. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work because I need to kind of fold it in half to be able to make the quesadillas. But let's see, maybe this one here I won't leave on as long. Whoops. And maybe it'll be a little more flexible. All right, so while that's continuing to go, I'm just going to add here the heavy cream. I just put like a little drop of oil on there and it's been working okay so far. The tricky part is trying to get this to actually go in because the pan is kind of like small and these are pretty wide, so. I probably shouldn't even be using that one exactly to do these. Probably should be more like of a front pan and not whatever that's called, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so that's the last one. Next is going to be the chicken. So, yeah, so because I defrosted all three pieces together, I'm going to do 
um, one chicken breast for tonight. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it and fry it up and then cube it and throw that into the soup. And then the other two, I'm going to just um, put some uh, salt, pepper, and then put it in some cornstarch and then fry that for chicken parm. one now then I'll work on that chicken <clears throat> Right. Where am I gonna put them? I guess I'm gonna leave them here, clean that part of the counter, and then do the chicken right here. All right, last one. This chicken man giving me a hard time. You know, that's my other problem is that when there's something that I don't want to deal with while I'm cooking, and it usually ends up being the meats, like I either don't feel like I'm like a little bit of a germaphobe with meat and touching it I feel like if I touch it I have to wash my hands as soon as I stop touching it and the counter has to be perfectly clean and I get that those are all good things but it kind of drives me crazy so I put it off usually a lot and then now it's time to deal with it so here we go all right so these two are going to be for dinner tonight so I'm just going to season it a little bit a little bit of black pepper this over because I don't want to touch it as I just told you guys uh. okay let's heat this up and get this going what's nice is that the pan is already pretty hot so we can just do that. Now for these pieces here, um, I think I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. Flip these over. Yeah, I feel really bad that I couldn't get just one piece out of there and I had to do all three of them because I did not want to have to make extra food tonight, but it is what it is. And the other issue with me sometimes is that, I don't know, sometimes chicken, the, like if you make it one day and you reheat it the next day, it just has this chickeny taste i don't even know what it is some people taste it some people don't i just it i can't do it if i if it tastes a little bit like chicken the next day or whenever i reheat it i can't have it so usually i'll just if i bring this for lunch i'm not going to reheat it i'll try to eat the chicken just as is um covered in sauce and stuff like that um because otherwise it's just not edible for me <laughs> You know what I did forget that I could put on there? Some garlic powder. I'm gonna add that on. Whoa. I'm also 
feel very not insecure, but like kind of insecure. I guess you, yeah, I guess it would be insecure about chicken and cooking it. I use this thermometer to get it, but I would rather have it way over the temperature it's supposed to be than just the temperature it's supposed to be just to be safe. So the chicken, I feel like half the time ends up a little bit overcooked, but what can I tell you? Look at that, that's looking good. All right, so some cornstarch into here. Wow, we. I like using cornstarch because it kind of gives it like a coating, um, but not like breadcrumbs, you know. I miscalculated and there's a whole lot of cornstarch still in here, but... just gonna have to toss it because I can't save that. All right, so this chicken is done. I'm gonna have to clean that out before I start the next batch. Triple check. I didn't check this little piece here. Yep. All right, so I'll just let this sit over here. And I'm going to cut that up in a minute. I'm going to do a quick little cleanup because this here is a literal disaster. All right, and I also have some oatmeal here. I'm already gonna put it and leave it ready for him for this to take tomorrow to work because I need this container. And I'm going to add a little bit of milk. And that way when he heats it up, it'll be a little less sticky and he can finish mixing it once he microwaves it at work tomorrow morning. So that's ready. So this is the other chicken. Let's see how it's doing. That little piece over there floating around. Okay. All right. Now this chicken we're going to cut up. have to try it. Mm, mm
All right, so the chicken looks like this. And the temperature seems pretty good. So I'm gonna add in this red sauce. So I can open it. There you go. So just leave that going a little bit and then I'm gonna top it with some cheese, let that cheese melt and then I'll put it away. And this is the final product of the soup. So that's what the soup looks like. And now I'm gonna make the quesadilla rice. Right. So I've got some cheese on there and I was gonna fold it in half, but then you know what? I'm just gonna top it here with one of these and press it and whatever I don't eat tonight of it, I'll just put it in the fridge and either take it for lunch tomorrow or have it as a snack or something tomorrow. All right, and I topped that with some cheese also. And so let's see how that goes. All right, guys, so this is going to be dinner tonight. Um, I'll actually take it here. I'm going to eat it with some salsa. I'm going to put it right here. This is uh, some essential oil spray so Spago doesn't get all our plants eaten up. That and my salsa. And that will be my dinner tonight. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but yeah, let's see. So um, it is 7.00. 37 and hopefully Chris will be home soon. He had to stay late at work today and I think he did end up eating um, Something there, so I'm not sure if he's gonna want to eat when he gets home, but we'll see so yeah, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye